Good evening and welcome to the news. First, the headlines. National COVID-19 recovery rate reaches 94.03%. In Meghalaya, 82-year-old man dies of COVID-19, taking the death toll to 112. KJDC delegation visits the uranium site at Nongba Dunrin, unearths leakage from uranium waste storage tanks. Helmets mandatory for two-wheeler and pillion riders in East Kasi Hills, rupees 54,000 collected as fine on Thursday. United Kingdom approves Pfizer BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine to be rolled out next week. The news in detail. India has leaped across a significant milestone in its fight against COVID. The number of new daily cases has been below the 50,000 mark for 25 consecutive days. In the last 24 hours, nearly 36,600 new confirmed cases were reported, while over 43,000 people recovered successfully in the same time span. With cumulative recovery nearing almost 90 lakh, the national recovery rate has leaped ahead and reached 94.03%. In Meghalaya, a 82-year-old man died of COVID-19, taking the death toll in the state to 112 on Tuesday. So far, the state has detected a total of 11,875 COVID-19 cases, out of which 669 are active cases and 11,094 recovered. A high-level delegation of the KHDC under the leadership of Gigur Mirthong, Deputy Chief Executive Member, visited the uranium site at Nongba Jinrin, southwest Kasi Hills, to see if there was any leakage of uranium in the said area. Other members of the delegation were MDCs, namely Bindo M. Lanong, Lamprang Bla, Karnes So Shang, and the headmen of local areas. During the inspection, the delegation found that there was a leakage from uranium waste storage tank situated at Nongba Jinrin village. Mirthong later said the delegation would bring the matter to the notice of the council and subsequently would send a report to the government to take initiatives on the matter. North Karimganj MLA Kamala Kade Purkastha on Tuesday met Meghalaya Chief Minister Conrad Sangma and stressed on the need to maintain communal harmony between the local Khasis and Bengalis residing in the state. The MLA stressed on the need to ensure peace and tranquility. In addition, the MLA also assured that the, he would ensure that all the local Khasis staying in the constituency remain safe. Purkhaistha also requested the state government not to introduce the inner line permit system as it will only result in harassment against bona fide Indian citizens visiting Meghalaya. He said implementation of the ILP will obstruct the regular movement of citizens of nearby states and would pose unnecessary harassment for visitors and those plying through the state. It's not a ILP, it's just a registration. There is a check and uh, there is a registration and legally people will come. If people stay here two days or three days, then uh, uh, they, are, uh, they, they should, should register in the apps. Uh, nothing else. Uh, uh, if anybody can sit and uh, some say, uh, I live in Palakbri, Kalinan, Thailand, and Sijan. Every day we move uh, these roads. Our tranquility is only this way. Nothing, uh, nothing, nothing like that. That's why we. Uh, Told on our chief minister that uh, uh, there is no uh, another way to uh, movement in Bolivia. So here, yeah, as soon as uh, there, there is no problem because of that, uh, it is not a uh, IMP like uh, Mizoram uh, and other state. So that's a uh, registration. The director general of police. R. Chandranathan is keeping a close touch with his Assam counterpart following the incident of Khasi villagers being threatened at Atukhal village in Kachar district. The DGP had personally contacted senior police officials of Assam and the Kachar district superintendent of police regarding the incident. Assistant, Assistant Inspector General of Police A. G. K. Yangrai said in a statement issued on Tuesday. Two-wheeler drivers in Shillong riding out with companions sans helmets 
will end up paying a whopping fine of rupees 1000 to traffic police as the department's mandate for pillion riders came into effect Tuesday. The rule which is mandatory for all two-wheeler riders and their pillion riders came into force and the department has reportedly collected rupees 54,000 as fine on day one. Pillion riders are at the third highest risk of dying in a fatal road accident with the highest risk being to two-wheeler riders and pedestrians. Meanwhile, people have welcomed the decision. It's very good uh, for the safety for the pillion riders and the riders. It's a very good initiative from the government. Uh, great safety for the pillion rider also. Like if you're wearing a helmet, obviously it's a betterment for you. It's going to be a protection for the pillion riders as well as for the rider as, as a... National Pollution Control Day is being observed today to instill awareness among the people about environmental pollution and its disastrous consequences. The key objectives are to educate people about the significance of the Pollution Control Act. Speaking to DD News Meghalaya, Meghalaya Pollution Control Board Senior Environmental Engineer W.R. Karkrang said the department had used various mediums such as radio to inform and educate the public about importance of pollution control and protection of the environment. Because when we look at uh, environmental protection and at, at large uh, to be able to control the, the various uh, uh, impacts of pollution, uh, each and every individual is, is responsible. Uh, per se of uh, uh, pollution that is being created by the general public, mm, that is a major concern. I would uh, highlight a few, uh, mainly is the uh, waste management, where people indiscriminately uh, dispose of the waste, in spite of them knowing that uh, by dumping in a, in a nearby drain or a nearby water body, it clogs the drain, it clogs the water bodies, and uh, in the end, I mean, it, it, it disturbs the ecosystem. The officers and the personnel of the 6th MLP Battalion has decided to help out the poor and needy people of the nearby villages, especially during the COVID-19 pandemic. In this regard, they made donations and contributions to children's homes and to some individuals who faced genuine problems during lockdown. The 6th MLP Battalion launched its campaign called Reaching Out Beyond the Call of Duty, under which they donated 50 blankets among the needy of Umran Nyang Bernai village. The beneficiaries were selected by the Dobra Shnong. This program will continue in the days to come. Till date, the battalion has received nearly 500 blankets donated by its personnel. Britain on Wednesday became the first country in the world to approve the Pfizer-BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine for use and said that it will be rolled out from early next week. A vaccine is seen as the best chance for the world to get back to some semblance of normality amid the global pandemic which has killed nearly 1.5 million people and appended the global economy. And a quick look at the weather report now. The maximum temperature recorded was 18.7 degrees Celsius, the minimum 10.9 degrees Celsius. Relative humidity in the morning was 46%, while that in the evening rose by another 23% to 69%. No rainfall was recorded. The forecast, moderate fog is likely to occur at isolated places in Shillong and its adjoining areas. And our news bulletin is now also available live on our YouTube page. In addition to watching on television, viewers may visit the DD News Shillong YouTube channel to tune into our daily bulletin. And another look at the headlines before we wind up. National COVID-19 recovery rate reaches 94.03%. In Meghalaya, 82-year-old man dies of COVID-19, taking the death toll to 112. KHDC delegation visits the uranium site at Nongba Jinrin, unearths leakage from uranium waste storage tanks. Helmets mandatory for two-wheeler and pillion riders in East Kasi Hills. Rupees 54,000 collected as fine on the next day. And United Kingdom approves Pfizer-BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine to be rolled out next week. Well, viewers, that's all we have in this edition of the Bulletin. Join us again tomorrow evening for more news and updates.